Hey y'all, I'm Abby, More Than Just Skin, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm thrilled you took some time out of your day to spend a little bit of time here with me. Today's video is a makeup in review, or face of the day, or makeup of the day, however you want to call it. And the premise of this video is to go through what I'm wearing on my face, tell you how long I've had it on, and let's see how it has held up throughout the day. So this morning I actually applied this makeup at 5 a.m. It is after 5 p.m. now. The only thing that I have touched up is my lipstick. Nothing else has been touched up. And I have been at work. I actually can safely say I don't think I've been sweating much today and I'm not gonna be doing the sweat test today, which is what I do when I work out and I come back on and show you how it held up throughout working out. I'm not gonna be doing that today because I've kinda got a scratchy throat and I just don't think I feel like working out. So, if you um, like these kind of videos and would like to see what I have on my face and how it held up throughout the day, hit that subscribe button and here we go. I am gonna start this video today with two items that actually are not on my face. The first one is my nail polish. This is, no surprise there, a KL polish, which is Kathleen Light's nail polish brand. She is a YouTuber, in case you don't know, in case you've been living under a rock and you don't know. But she is a YouTuber, and this is one of her colors of her fall bundle. I purchased her fall bundle. I own a lot of her nail polish. I love it. I love how opaque it is. I have decided it does not even take two coats to get full opacity. You can you can achieve opacity with one coat. Now I always put two coats on, but this color is from her fall bundle and it is the color 1435. And it is described as kind of a denim blue. I would say it is the a crawl or a half in the middle between a navy and a denim blue. And I really love it. I think it's great. I think it's beautiful. Um, out of all of the colors so far that I have of hers that I've worn, this is probably my least favorite just because, I don't know, I have to really be in the mood for blue, but it is a very pretty blue if you are interested in a blue for fall. I suggest you check it out. The next item that I'm actually not wearing on my face is this perfume that I'm wearing today. And it is actually, I'm looking at it on the Sephora website, it is the C by Giorgio Armani passion edu, edu perfume um i have the small spray size and of course i do not know um much about scents like i can't i have a hard time with notes so this is actually from the floral family which is shocking to me because i'm not really that big into florals but it is and it says it's a fruity floral which is even more shocking to me but then when i read the notes i understand the notes are black currant rose de ma and musk and musk is the reason why i like this i would categorize this scent as something that is very warm very sensual and perfect for fall i'm smelling my arm because i applied it at 5 a.m this morning and i can actually still smell it which i'm pretty impressed by that because a lot of scents you put on and it just kind of goes away so i'm pretty impressed by that liking this scent not sure i'll pick up a full size but i'm going to enjoy this while i have this smaller one so moving on to what I have on my face and first I primed my skin with the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Face Primer. Now I had featured this in my last face of the day and I said I really wasn't sure what to say about it because I hadn't used it that much. Well what do you know I have been using it constantly and I have been falling more and more in love with it. Now it is on the pricier side. I'm not sure if I would go out again and pay $55 for a primer. I got this in a set which I consider to be a pretty good deal because I think I got it in a set with a lip gloss, dew drops, this, and a setting spray. And I think that whole set was like $75 and then I think I got it 25% off. So it was a killer deal on the Marc Jacobs Beauty website. But I love this stuff. It is, feels great on the skin and I have found that my makeup really lasts when I use this no matter what foundation I'm using. It lasts better when I use this than when I don't. So I do highly recommend this. Beautiful packaging, great pump. I can't say enough good things about this product. Next is a foundation that is newer to me, but so far I am loving it. I, like I said, it's on my face today. I've had it on since 5 a.m. And it is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Now, 
This does pr provide great coverage. The, the way you dispense it is a big, huge doe foot applicator, which is not my favorite, but I can make it work. I just paint it all over my face. And one thing I do like about the doe foot applicator is if I find one certain spot I need a little more coverage, I just paint a little more there and buff it in with my beauty blender. So I really do like that. I think it looks great on the skin. I think it wears beautifully throughout the day. I am not seeing any breakup. Of course, like I said, I really haven't been sweating today, so I'm not seeing anything here. I am seeing a tiny bit, and I will zoom in to show you, of where, where my eyes water. But so far, this foundation wears really, really good. It stands up to the test of time, and I am really pleased by it. I don't find that it is too matte. I don't find this too luminous. I think it's more of kind of like a satin finish, but I am going to look up and tell you exactly what it claims to be. So according to the Ulta website, it comes in at $12 and it is the full coverage foundation, offers lightweight yet buildable coverage and 24 skin true shades. This versatile foundation is designed to suit every skin type and tone with an oil-free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries down to a long-lasting demi matte finish. Okay, so it's a demi matte finish, which I don't mind. I rather have that than fully matte. So I really have been enjoying this foundation. Next, I reached for my e.l.f. and this is the Total Face Palette. Now, I have decluttered or put to be decluttered the bronzer palette because I felt like the bronzing palette and I think even the contour palette left some patchiness as far as the bronzer was concerned. This does not do that, surprisingly. Now, this is the bronzer, which is light, but for this time of year and moving into winter, it really is good and enough. Plus, it is buildable, as you can see on my face. I used this to bronze up my face and then I took a smaller brush and actually used it to do some contouring today. And I was very, very pleased with it. I also used these blushes. I don't think you can tell much difference in. I'm trying to remember which one I used. Okay. I used this blush because I found that it was a tad bit darker. I felt like this one was a little bit pinkier and I wanted something a little bit warmer. So I used this for blush. And I think it's okay. It doesn't provide a huge amount of color payout, but it's okay. I also used this for highlight. And I have to say, my highlight looks just as good right now as it did when I applied it, which so shows me that the staying power of this palette is pretty spot on. Now, this is not by any means my favorite. This is not my favorite highlight. This is not my favorite blush. This is not my favorite bronzer, although this bronzer is pretty dang good. But for this palette and the price of this palette, which I think is around $7, it's a pretty good deal and I really do like it and enjoy it. I had no expectations for this. I kind of had the expectations that I wasn't going to like it and I have been pleasantly surprised and shocked. So I think that that says that speaks volumes for an item when you kind of already made up your mind that you're not going to like it and then you're shocked by it and you really do like it. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this. Really did enjoy it. Concealer, under eye concealer. Today I used the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I love this concealer. My biggest gripe about it is that it is very scented, but surprisingly it doesn't irritate my eyes, and I do have irritable eyes, but it doesn't irritate my eyes, which is a good thing, and the color selection is crap. The color selection is just not good at all, um, but I really do like it. I think it can rival some higher-end concealers, and I will continue to use it. Luckily for me, there, there's a color that works, but that's not going to be the case, and I really hate that. I found it very unfortunate, but I do like this concealer. On my eyes, I am using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So if you watched a few videos back where I did like my Guilty Pleasures wish list, this palette was on there with a number of other palettes. Um, the only reason I picked this up is because Urban Decay was running a friends and family 25% off sale. So I just felt like I couldn't pass it up. And I'm really glad I did. It's a very heavy, weighty palette. It comes with a mirror. Um, and then you can fold it back and you're, you're here with these shades. Now, I have used this palette a few times. I've created kind of a berry toned look before, which I really, really liked. But today I did more of a warmer look. I started with the shade Breakaway and put that on my entire lid. And then I went in down here with this shade Riff on a fluffy brush and just kind of started my transition. Then I went in with a more dense brush and kind of deepened up with Riff the same color. Then I went in with Baja, which is this orange color, and lightly blended that. And then I went in with this color Punk, which is kind of a warmer, deep 
toned um, brown. Then I put smog across my eyelid, more towards the outer V, I put this shade Ignite, and then in the inner corner I put this shade, I think I made Stranded and Blaze together. Now, I'm looking in the mirror and it looks good. I'm trying to look close, let's see, let's pull this mirror out here. I'm looking in the mirror and it still looks good. I can still see some shimmer. I'm pretty impressed by it. It looks, I mean, it looks decent. I really have no complaints. I really like this palette. Um, this, over the weekend, I hope, because I'm filming this on a Friday, I hope to try out maybe some of this purple and some of these green tones, but I really think it's a great palette. Of course, it's Urban Decay Shadows. I like Urban Decay Shadows. I like all the Naked palettes. I think they're great, so I really have been impressed with this and have been enjoying it. Liner. I am wearing um, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Lucky, and that is what I lined above my top lashes and below and I really do enjoy I really do enjoy these eyeliners I think they're great now I did line my lower water line with the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Cole iconic liquid eye pencil in the shade nude to kind of brighten up and I'm gonna break out my mirror again so I can see and y'all I still see it it's shocking but I still see this in my waterline. I'm really surprised by that because I was not expecting that. But I do still see it and I like it a lot and I think that if you're going to get a nude pencil for your waterline, get this one because clearly it lasts. And lastly on my lips, it's the only thing I have reapplied and I think I've reapplied it twice. I reapplied it at after lunch and then right before I filmed this video. And this is the Buxom Va Va Plump um, I guess it's called lipstick. I'm not sure. Va Va Plump in Lights Down. And it is just kind of, you can see on my lips, like this rusty color. It comes like in a, um, like a lip gloss. The way I classify it is kind of a very um, opaque, creamy lip gloss. Um, it doesn't provide the stickiness like a normal lip gloss does. And according to the website, according to Sephora, it's called Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. A shiny plumping liquid lipstick that delivers bold, intense color with serious staying power. I will say that it does have pain, pa staying power, but it doesn't dry down. So it doesn't like dry your lips out. It dries down some, but not enough to dry your lips off. You still have a little bit of creaminess on your lips, even when it's completely dried down and the color does stay. So I really do like this a lot. I'm not sure I like it enough to go out and run out and purchase more colors, but I'm gonna try this some more and give it some more wear, but I'm loving this color for fall. I think this color just kind of screams fall. So I am loving this and I'm going to continue trying. It. The last product I used was to set all of this, and that is the Marc Jacobs um, Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. I have found that this similar, well, maybe not to the extreme that the Urban Decay All Nighter keeps my makeup in place, but this does keep my makeup in place, and I've been pretty impressed with it. So um, it is more on the pricier side. I think it might be more, actually, I think it's exactly the same price as the All Nighter, and it smells of coconut and it feels great on the skin. So you may want to try this out. I really do like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and kind of give you all an up close look at how this foundation wore. One thing I will say about it before I zoom in, one thing I noticed the few days that I have worn it and I have worn a different lipstick with it every time. When I apply my lipstick in the morning and I use a lip liner, the lipstick does great. When I reapply the lipstick, I usually don't apply it with, I usually don't touch up my lip liner. I find that it feathers. I don't think it's the lipstick that's feathering. It could be, but I, I really don't think so. I think it's the combination with this foundation that's causing the lipstick to feather. It was feathering pretty bad and I did kind of clean up around my lip line before I came on here to film because it was, it looked pretty bad. So I do want to point that out. I'm going to try it some more and if you're interested and you want to follow up, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if it's this lipstick or if it's the foundation, I don't know, but I, but I have every lipstick I've worn with this has done this. So I just wanted to put that out there. So now I'm going to zoom in. We're going to look around really close and see how this wore. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, 
I'm going to try out this foundation some more, try out some lipstick options with it, but so far I'm pretty impressed with how it's worn. Um, if you like these types of videos, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back here on a regular basis. And as always, I hope this video finds you having a fantastic day and a great week, and I will see you all soon. Bye, y'all.